Hi, I'm Trisha, a writer and a gardener, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see my videos every single week. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a mini container pond with or without a fountain so that you can bring a slice of zen into your home. If you don't want to fuss around with the fountain setup, just skip to this point of the video where I'll show you how to make a basic container pond that will still add some beauty to your garden or your balcony. Now let's begin. You will need the following items. First, you'll need a large plastic container. You can find these in any nursery. Just ensure to buy one without any holes at the bottom or you won't have much of a pond going. If you want to keep fish, choose a container that's as large as you can accommodate because fish need space. You can also buy cement or ceramic pots, but plastic is easier to clean and easier to shift around. Next, you'll need some aquatic plants like these ones to give the pond a natural feel. You can find them in any aquarium shop. Plants like these help oxygenate the water and are crucial if you plan to keep fish. You'll need some gravel like this which you can buy online or at any nursery. I prefer a finer cut. Just ensure to wash them thoroughly to remove any dust and debris from the stones before introducing them to your pond. You'll also need some larger pebbles and rocks like these. I collected all these rocks from my neighborhood and on holidays. Just wash them properly before using them. To make your fountain, you'll need a water pump like this one. You can find it online. I bought this from an aquarium shop because they're very easily available there. You'll also need a PVC pipe like this one that fits the spout of your water pump. You can get these at any hardware shop and if you ask them nicely, they'll even cut it for you. The pipe should be slightly longer than the height of your container to be able to work like a fountain. Next, you'll need a bendable pipe like this one that fits your PVC pipe. This will act as your fountain spout, so measure and cut it as per your requirement. You'll also need a nicer pot like this one which has a hole at the bottom. You should be able to thread your PVC pipe through the hole. Today I'm using this old ceramic pot to do the job. Finally, you'll need two bits of wood like these on which your fountain setup can sit. I found these discarded in my neighborhood and gave them a good cleaning before I used them. If you're keeping fish, I'd also suggest getting this chlorine removal liquid available at any aquarium shop. Simply follow the instructions on the bottle. Now that we've got all our equipment, let's make a pond. Wash your container properly with plain water and place it in your garden or balcony. Start layering your gravel. I like at least 2 inches to create a good bedrock. Remember to wash and clean the gravel properly before you add it to your container. Now take your plants and arrange them around the container. Press them into the gravel ensuring that they won't slip out once you add water. If you want to add a fountain to your pond, Remember to arrange the plants in such a way that there is space at the bottom of the floor for the water pump that you will also add in later. Now take the PVC pipe and firmly adjust the pipe into the pump spout like so. It should be a snug fit so that there is no water leakage at any time. Place your pump so that it sits firmly on the container's floor. Keep the wire on the side that is closest to your plug point. Now lay out the two pieces of wood against the container sides. The two pieces should sandwich the PVC pipe. Check that the wood sits firmly against the container. Now take your ceramic pot and thread it through the PVC pipe like so. Now take your smaller pipe and adjust it onto the PVC pipe like so. Now fill the ceramic pot with any leftover gravel from earlier. Then fill the pot with the larger stones, placing them in such a manner that they bend the pipe, directing the flow of water into the container to avoid making any mess in the future. Fill the container with water. It's best to use old water, that is water that has been standing for at least 48 hours. This allows any chlorine in the water a chance to evaporate. This is very important if you plan to keep any fish. My container holds almost 40 litres of water so it takes a long time to fill it up but we're almost done now. And now for a moment of truth. Plug in your water pump and check the flow of water. You can change the flow of water by either adjusting the settings on your pump or by using a thinner pipe. I have a rather heavy flow of water in my fountain right now but that's alright. I can change it another time. 
For a lush tropical feel, you can also arrange some potted plants on the two pieces of wood that also act as a ledge. And there you have it, a small yet soothing container pond with a simple fountain in your very own balcony, which is also a great project for kids. Wasn't that easy? To make a basic pond, simply skip all the fountain steps and add some floating plants like these guys to your pond. If you're keeping fish, remember to go easy on the number of floating plants you get because they can quickly take over the water surface and choke it of oxygen. For my container pond without a fountain setup, I wanted to add a miniature lily. So I potted one earlier in a separate container. Then I'm simply going to place an empty nursery pot upturned at the bottom of the container that will act as a stand for my lily plant. Then I'm gently going to place my lily plant setup on top of the upturned nursery pot. If you want to keep fish, I would advise you to wait at least two to three days before doing so, so that the water has a chance to settle and the plants get going. Two days later, the water in my container looks clean and the plants look like they're thriving, so I'm now going to add in some fish to my pond. Remember to get no more than two or three if you have a small container. Species like mollies and platys are best for beginners as they are hardy and resilient fish. Always float your fish on the water surface for at least 30 minutes before releasing the fish. For the first week, remove 20% of the water and add more dechlorinated water every day. A pipe like this available at any aquarium shop makes the job much easier. After the first week, I change 50% of the water once a week and look out for any other maintenance like cleaning out any fallen leaves, debris or cleaning out the sides of the container. So here's my basic container pond setup. I've placed it amid my favorite evergreen perennials for a calming and natural zen garden feel. I hope you like it as much as I do. So that's it from me today. I hope this video has encouraged you to take up this simple and easy project. If you like this video, do hit the subscribe button to follow me for more plant stories and guides. If you want to catch me on Instagram, you can follow me on my handle here. And last but not the least, if you want me to make a video about something specific related to plant care, do leave your ideas in the comments below and I'll definitely give it a go. Bye folks!